Good morning. We are in Hudson Valley this weekend doing a little getaway. It's almost like a belated birthday gift for Pika because he is eight now. We rented this beautiful Airbnb that you just saw. It is overlooking um, a creek and it is the lower porch of a house that we share with the Airbnb host. It's so beautiful. This is our first time out of the city. And it was definitely hard getting out of the city. We had to go to the airport to get a rental car, come back, then drive. It was about two and a half hours here. But we made it and we're gonna take it really chill this weekend. I don't have like anything planned at all really. We just wanna eat and like enjoy this amazing deck that we have here and just have Pika relax. Speaking of Pika, here he is. He has been working really hard hosting all of the dogs that I've been sitting. So this is his little um, vacation. <laughs> and yeah, look at how big this deck is. And this is completely ours. And there's the river. So it is so pretty. And you can hear like the sounds of nature, which obviously you can't hear really in the city. And the air is like clean air. So anyways. We're gonna go get breakfast now and then probably just explore a little bit, maybe do an easy hike um, since we have Pika here and then yeah, just relax. We have made it to our brunch spot. It is called the Bartlett House. Um, it was actually built in 1870 and it was a railroad hotel um, where people would just get together here drink party have a good time and then after the railroad was done it was basically abandoned and then it was revived again in 2016 and now it's a place where you can get really delicious pastries and then eat a lot of good food that's grown by local farmers and um, they also partner with like a really cool coffee roaster so we're gonna enjoy it, it looks like there's a lot of outdoor seating like a picnic area and also up there on the porch. Mawignak Preserve. It's a Mohican word meaning the two place where two streams come together. And originally we were trying to go to a different waterfall, but the parking situation is really tough to find. So we gave up on that. And now we're just gonna do a little trail. For Pika, we can't do anything too difficult. So I think this should be a pretty easy trail for him.
We just found a frog. Whoa, I'm scared. Do you see it? Is it showing up in the camera? Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh my God, look. Whoa. What plant is this? This looks like a, like a zucchini fruit. Spiky zucchini pear. So cool. Are they biting it? Look, look, look. There's a right here. Can you tell that I got bit on my ring finger? Look, you can see the bite. Right there. It's weirdly painful and it feels like it's stinging. Hi. Thank you. Thanks. We are here at a coffee shop slash boutique called Wild and we're just gonna enjoy the sun with Pika and have some coffee. to get a bottle of wine so that I can enjoy it later on our deck. I've just been notified that Rooney, the 13-year-old beagle on this property, is out. So let me go say hi. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Wow. Oh. Pika and him have already said hi earlier, but I missed it. Look at how cute. Oh, wow, he already given the kisses. Wow, he's real happy. Oh my god, look, he's sitting. Aww, he has like a little skin thing above his eye. He really white. Aww. Yeah, he's 13. But look, he's still so healthy. Oh, you're so cute. We have made it to dinner. We are at Casa Latina Pupusas y Mas. Looks really good. There's outdoor seating because Pika is with us. We decided not to leave him back at the Airbnb at all this trip, so he's coming with us. He's gonna be getting some pupusas. Starting with some chips and salsa. And thankfully, we are the only ones here at this whole restaurant except for some people inside. These people just left. He gets to be by himself, except he's over here trying to eat food on the floor. Look at his tongue. Pika. Pika wants some pupusas. <laughs> I got some tacos. I got carne asada, pollo, and vegetable. Here are the pupusas that they're known for. This one's the jalapeno flavor. Ooh, it's steaming. Jalapeno flavor. Pupusas are like breads stuffed with cheese and it's usually made out of corn flour and this one's the uh la Rojo one which is like a green sauce and then I, it looks like i have some uh pickled onions mm. and then 
You got green enchiladas, right? Uh, what's the meat in there? Chicken. Pollo. Oh. Oh my god. This is so good. This is so damn good. These are fresh jalapenos. I don't know why in my mind I was thinking that it would be pickled jalapenos, but no, it's fresh, so it's so spicy and delicious. We'll try it. It's so good. I'm gonna try my chicken taco. Put some lemon. Good. He has many steps to his um, <laughs> grooming routine. No, I didn't bring pot butter. So he has to get his um, nose fold wiped out and medicated. He has to get his actual nose. Um, like we have to put this like um, nose balm on him. We have to wipe his tear stains, which are currently a little too dark. And then we have to use this medicated wipe to clean in between the webbings of his feet. And then usually we do pot butter. So many, many elements to grooming a bulldog. We are gonna go to bed now. It has been a very fruitful day, hasn't it? Yes. <laughs> Andrew has a mosquito bite. It looks really bad. Okay, no, show the camera real What's quick. Up, show the camera. Ooh, goodness. There's Pika, he's very tired because he had a lot of activity today and it feels so cozy right now to be in here. I'm having a little bit of the wine that I had earlier and we're gonna watch some stuff. Um, probably Mikey Chen, food, travel stuff, and then go to bed. So, good night everybody. weather is so nice and I'm having a little coffee here but yeah I really liked this Airbnb like I give it 10 out of 5 if I could and um, that's the sound of the cicada they're called cicadas the sound of oh um, I really liked this deck. This is like the highlight of our entire weekend and I feel like I personally like really needed this even though I didn't, I wouldn't have thought that I did because I love New York City so much but this feels so good. Um, and it was really, really relaxing. So yeah, we're gonna finish spending some time here out on the deck. There's Pika. Oh, and it was really, really fun for Pika too. Look at him, look at him. Look at this little monkey. But yeah, we are gonna go check out later and get some food before we head back. Bye bye amazing Airbnb. Hopefully we can meet back here again. Otherwise, I really recommend for friends and family, anyone who wants to stay, I'm gonna link this Airbnb in the description below. Before we get food, we are at the Henry Hudson Riverfront water uh, trail, <laughs> waterfront trail. Um, yeah, it's super cool. There's boats and just big green area. So we're gonna go for a walk.
just got our food and um, I didn't realize this earlier but there's a garden back here so this is where we're gonna be sitting and this is so cool and pretty looks like this and there's Pika okay let's see what we got oh my god this looks so good these are yeah chili oil um well some of it yeah this is chili oil this is chicken fat potatoes Ooh, oh my god this looks so pretty it's like um a, a salad i don't think it's chili oil so oh it could be it's like a lot of like locally grown vegetables oh my god i didn't know it looked like this either we've just got some like garlic rice balls okay this looks so good bon appetit Last stop, I went to this juice bar and got a green juice so I can feel healthy after all the food that I just ate. Here's where I went, the juice branch. We're also at a gas station so we can fuel up. We are gonna head back now to the city and we had a wonderful relaxing time here. We can't wait to be back. <laughs> Pika had a lot of fun. I know it doesn't look like he wants to be on camera right now. He's a little camera shy. But anyways, did you like it, babe? Yep, very relaxing. Yeah, it was nature. Really cool. Yeah, but Andrew doesn't like nature. Show him why. He always gets like mosquito bites that get really swollen and red. Look at, yeah. Look at my hand. Why is it going out right here? Yeah, I know, it's really swollen. I don't know, his body reacts to bites really poorly. But anyways, we are gonna head out now. I'm excited to go back, but also I'm excited to come back here and um, explore more. And I really liked all the food places that we went to. So anyways, signing off now, bye.